to welcome ladies and gentlemen welcome back to today's video and that's right we're going to be starting just a quick mini champions league series we want to get this going we're going to be playing simultaneously that's right we're going to have two different teams i've gone for one powerhouse side with bayern munich because i never use any bundesliga teams i want to give them a shot and then we're also going to be using the unfortunate Italian side that got nipped by PSG yesterday, Atalanta. So, this is what I've done so far. Um, we've obviously gone in there and I've tried to pick the teams. Well, I have picked all the teams that are going to be in the Champions League next season. I've made some transfer requests as well. Werner's gone to Chelsea. ZX gone there. Uh, Gomez has gone for Man United. Barcelona have taken... Uh, Pjanic, Arthur's gone to Juventus. So I've done the big transfers, uh, but I've tried to just put in teams as well that might be in it because there's still six open spots. So Group A, we've got Real Madrid, Inter, Leipzig and uh, Istanbul. Uh, Group B, I've got Liverpool, Sevilla, Lokomotiv and Lille. Group C, we've got Juventus, Salzburg, Shakhtar, Donetsk and uh, Michelin. I mean, like I said, some of these aren't in it, but... Uh, I've just put the teams that have generally won the league this season. Uh, Group D. So we've got Bayern Munich ourselves, Barcelona, Celtic and Marseille. Celtic won the Scottish League last year, I believe. If Did it get postponed? I don't know. But they were top. So I've put them in there. Barcelona is going to be a good fun challenge as well because we are playing as Bayern Munich and Marseille are also through next season. Group E, we've got PSG, Man City, Young Boys because they finished top and Porto who are in it. Group F, we've got Zenit, they're in it. Chelsea, Leon, and Ajax. Ajax is a different one because, I don't know what happened to their season. They ended it, but either way, it's Ajax. We put them in there. Group G, so this is what we've gone for Atalanta. Borussia Dortmund, I put Manchester United in there for some fun, and Club Bruges. So that's not going to be an easy group. Group H, Atletico Madrid, Lazio, Mushin Gladbach, and Slava Prague I've put in as well. And that is it. So there's all the teams, some tasty, tasty little groups there. But these are going to be short, fast-paced matches. We're going to be playing on Superstar, 10 minutes. I would try out manual for a while, but I don't want this to drag on. I want a 10-minute match, quick and fast, and then we can just do basically two matches at a time and get through this relatively quickly. And we're going to be alternating. So we'll have Bayern Munich in this match, and then the next match, Atalanta. It's something for you guys to definitely, you know, watch. And it's different from watching the same team over and over. So we're taking on Marseille for today. There's a look at the lineup. I'm going for a 3-5-2 as well. I'm going to switch it up. I know don't normally play this uh, by Munich, they play sort of a 4-5-1 uh, but I'm going for a 3-5-2 because we've got to play fast tempo quick football, try and score as many goals as we can, the form isn't looking too good here with the likes of Sul, he's down on red uh, Coman's on red I think Boateng's on orange as well so we've had to make a couple of changes but Sané's there as well, obviously he's gone from Chelsea, not Chelsea, Man City to Bayern Munich so he's on blue, he's definitely buzzing for his first game. Anyway let's dive into it, it's going to be a very relaxed type of gameplay. I'll do the odd commentary here and there, but I'm going to be focused on playing, doing the usual spiel. If you guys do enjoy this series, please smash the like button. I don't get too many likes on my videos. If you guys don't like them, then fine. But please, if you can smash the like button, truly will appreciate it. But let's dive into the first game here, taking on Olympic Marseille. So here we go, the first game underway. We haven't got the proper stadiums for this one. I haven't added the uh, stadium server, it's too much work. But we have the proper ad boards and the Champions League looks legit. You can see it all surrounds the stadium, looks the part. We are still using the Pez Dream patch, which is nicely done. A lot of the caps have been removed, which is what I like. So without further ado, Let's not hang around too much longer and dive into this one. So we've got to make sure that we start off here in a very quick manner. And we are playing as well with Holland's gameplay EXE file. As well as a, a DT file from uh, a while ago that I'm still playing with. That's a loose pass and we'll take that one. Gnabry quickly get towards it. This is the broadcast camera if you guys are wondering. I don't know, I seem to like this one lately something about it I do think the dynamic one's probably better or if you just play wide 
um, online. It, it's probably the better way to do it. All right, go on, Robert Lewandowski. Turn on the afterburner's son. Oh, it's a tasty run by him, and that's a start and a half. Switching off there, Marseille. Lewandowski showing you why he probably would have won the Ballon d'Or this year, if not for them postponing it. Picks the ball up here. We may have even seen a little bit of a nutmeg. Oh, he just sort of argy bargy his way through. We'll take it. Tiago start again with uh, Theo Hernandez, and I haven't put any, uh, haven't played Pez in a while. It's been—I can't remember the last time I put out an actual match for you guys. So I thought it was about time we get back into the flavour. But with Pez 2021, about what a month away now. Yes, it's going to be pretty much the same game, but we're still going to enjoy some Master League. And hopefully this year we'll play a lot more matches. Nabry tried to play it up to Lewandowski. Couldn't get there. Sanson, little deflection. Strutman finds Kamara. Sanson again. Payet. Remember him from his uh, West Ham United days. Pavard, nicely done, son. Lay it up the line. Not the best pass towards Thomas Muller. Not refereeing today. He's actually playing. It's going to be completely different though, playing with Bayern Munich and then switching to Atalanta. Not quite the same, there's a header, what a save by Neuer, although it was pretty routine by the big German, but we'll take it. 19 minutes gone and that could have been the equalising goal. Can he whip it in? Stay on him lads, don't let him deliver the ball. Good challenge in the end and that's going to roll out for the throw and a bit of pressure here by the French side. That's 69% possession. I mean, I do like this camera. The only problem I have with it is sometimes the boys don't want to... Oh, that's a great move. Lovely header. Lovely goal. Absolutely cream cracker there. Great play by them. Benedito with the header. I think it was Payet with the play. Just couldn't get the ball off him. Now, there is more physicality in this uh, gameplay. You can see they'll try and hold it up more. And that's just a wonderful header. Right off the crossbar. So we may have started off well. But that's not the uh, the best way to go about it. But we have some goals. And that's what we want. Right, Thiago. But it often happens though on Pez. Where the AI will... I don't know. Score a goal. And then kind of switch off and sit back a lot more. We'll just try and work this forward ever so slightly. You can see they are playing uh, quite deep. That's a pointless pass, Kimmich. Ref, it's not a foul. Coutinho, lovely ball. Lewandowski! Ah, Madanda just got there in the nick of time. Should he be wearing red as a goalkeeper? It's a bit of a clash towards the Bayern Munich kit. Sanson cuts inside, lays it inside. It's it back again. Does deliver it. I'll tell you what, Marseille are causing me a lot of problems with these uh, balls down the flanks. Sané. Ah, Sané. Car. Sanson again. Final 13 minutes of the half to play. Gonzalez is there just keeping the ball here and they like to look for that big long switching pass it's not a bad idea you know we may have to try and get there first we will but we've been bundled out of the way of it and they've laid the ball on the edge of the box play it with a strike boys we have got to start switching on All right oh Sané with a terrible touch Strutman is he going to get there first he will Swung around the other way again. Lovely switching pass. And oh, he just had a little bit of a brain fart. Well, I better make a couple of alterations here. A couple of tactical tweaks to the lineup. I'm going to try and play counter attacking. I mean, I was playing possession. We're going to try and play it out wide a little bit more as well. Coutinho feeds it off. Kimish. Sane flicked on. That's where the pass needs to be better, boys. Don't get caught now with the pants down. Radonic tries to feed it up the line. Final three minutes. We really haven't created anything since the start of the game. I thought it was a nice simple start. But it hasn't been. We haven't found uh, 
the forward lads enough Sané Lewandowski Thomas Muller oh he struck the boat uh, struck the post and say the, the the post bar god what a strike it was but there we have it 1-1 one, one. Ah, boys 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 Medanda who's giving a team talk give him a word boys telling him that it's all about heart and soul and I do apologise for the size of your screen because uh, I need to download Reshade. I just haven't had the chance to do so. This is uh, obviously a mod that's been added. So second half begins here in France. Now I know we could be using the no crowd mod just to make it realistic. But honestly I think it's kind of depressing and uh, I'd rather have the actual crowd there to be honest. Just hope this thing doesn't go on and on and on and eventually... We are going to get people watching the games again. Back in the stadiums. And Gnabry comes across. Fed inside. Payet looking for that cheeky little flick. Muller. Coutinho says to Sané, away you go. Who is going to get there? Cuts back on the right. He's got plenty of options. One is Lewandowski. Quickly make it take, take. Oh. Take it away from him. Sakai swings it inside. Gonzalez. A draw is not going to be good enough here, boys. We've got to win this one. We've got Barcelona coming up. Thiago. Theo Hernandez. Pavard. Come forward with it, mate. Nabri. Flicks it inside. Thiago again. Feeds it across to Kimish. Robert Lewandowski. Oh, looking for Sané. But Adito, he's giving it away. Suddenly Marseille looking a bit nervous now. Gnabry, lovely ball. Muller! Oh, good save by the keeper. Just did enough to deny the German. Wrong side of your man there, mate. Giving away. Thiavian. Sané's got to have the legs there, surely. Come on, Sané. Stick a foot in, mate. Finally, Alaba does the rest. Fed up the run line. Lewandowski, you've got to see more of your son. Coutinho, a bit back towards the Polishman. And he's got a chance to run with this. He's got a lot of space and time here. Lewandowski going all the way. And in the end, I really just... I just ran into me, man. A little bit sloppy there. Lovely ball again. They, the, uh, they have used the flanks well. I mean, we are playing three at the back. Maybe it wasn't the best decision. Because we are getting stretched quite a bit. It's another lovely ball in. Oh, he's led that one on the edge of the box. And the ball's over the bar. I like the AI, though, at the moment. They're playing some really nice football. You, know, you can see they're just switching the play. Smart play. This is a great little header. And a very, very unorthodox finish by Payet. All right, we're going to make our first change. Muller's coming off. Boateng on. And we're changing the formation. So we're going for a 4-4-2. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of Marseille trying to carve me open with all these switching passes. Come on, Thiago. You've got to be quicker on the ball, son. And there it is again. But this time Pavard will come across and nip it away. And that's going to be the difference now. They can keep trying that. We've got a little bit more width to try and negate those problems. That's a poor ball. Kimish, tell you who I do miss. I miss playing with Robin. It's an overhit pass, isn't it? Gets a foot in. Coutinho, lovely touch. Lewandowski's on his bike. Given away. Ball up the line. Referee plays on. That's our ball anyway. Gnabry. Right, you've got to use your pace and strength here, Gnabry. Or Nabry, whatever you want to call him. Chance now to deliver it in. It's not the best ball in the world. 15 minutes, lads. We need a goal. I know it's the first game, so yes, we can afford a, a little bit of a, a drop in points, but not too many. Oh, Boateng, Boateng, Boateng. Sloppy, son. Oh, well done, Alaba. What a challenge that was. That was life or death. Sané. Lewandowski. Coutinho. Oh, just wanted to dink it over. Payet. Looking for that ball over the top. Boateng wins the header. Kimmich. It's not a great ball again, but we'll take it. 
Lewandowski. Sanek, use your pace. Oh, I've overhit that. We're still going to get there. Going to have to start again. Really, Sane? Oh, I thought that went out. Never mind. Play on. Ball's delivered in. These crosses are not good enough. Kimmich. Pavard. Look how many players are back for Marseille now. They are just soaking it up. Alibert. Sane. Make the run, Alibert. Go on. There you go. Overlapping run. Drill that one in. And it's too close to the keeper. And Dan has been a spectator this half. Final five minutes. Everyone is looking knackered at this point. And that's a bit of an issue. Oh, you've got to be... Oh, 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 ref, what have you given there? What have you given there? I think he's given us a free kick. And... Oh, it's lucky. It's lucky. Very fortunate. Well, I probably should have made this change earlier, but oh well. Take him on. Well, here's Perisic, and he's got time to deliver it. Lewandowski! Oh, Lewin, Lewin, Lewin. What a chance. Come on, lads, keep the pressure on. Just haven't seen enough from the boys, but it's all right. We're still warming up. It's the first game. I haven't played Pez in a while. A little bit rusty. And to be fair, Marseille have played quite well. We are away from home. And that looks like it's going to be the full-time whistle. So there we have it. One apiece. We did hit the bar in the first half, didn't we? Right at the end. But yeah, lads, we're going to have to step it up in the next game. So there we have it. It was only four attempts to five. They had 53% possession. Man of the match today was Thomas Muller. Okay, so the other results, uh, Real Madrid won 3-0 into one their match. Lille drew against Liverpool, Sevilla lost to Lokomotiv, Juventus won. Salzburg lost, uh, obviously we drew, and um, Barcelona beating Celtic. Porto drew against PSG, Man City won, Ajax won as well. Chelsea lost 4-1 at home. Club Brews drew, we're taking on Man United in the next game. Atletico Madrid won 2-0, and Lazio drawing with Borussia Mönchengladbach, so... Yeah, there's a look at us. It's all right. It's early days. Obviously, we've got to finish in the top two to qualify. So the next match is taking on Manchester United. That's going to be an interesting one. Let's have a look at the lineups and dive into it. Okay, so it looks like, uh, well, this is what we're going to have to go for. I'm going to go for the 3-5-2 again. I mean, this is what they're playing as their sort of the default formation. The problem is, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of rotation here, is there? It's not the deepest squad. That's why we're playing as them, because it's more of a challenge. I'm going to put Muriel up top today with Zapata. Those two could be good. I mean, at least you could put him up there, and he was up top. But I've got no one on the wings who's really up for it. Hatabor, I've had to just play anyway, because he's on orange. But I'm going to put Gomez out wide. He has exceptional pace. 85-94. Got really good acceleration. I know he's a dribbler. Probably better suited as an AMF. But he can play on the left wing. He'll come inside anyway. And we're going to start with this. Looking at Man United. Interesting. I don't know. It's the usual Pez story where they've decided to start Lingard. They've decided to start Matter in there instead of Fernandez for whatever reason. I don't know where Greenwood's gone. And uh, Fosu Mens is in there as well. So... Instead of wan -Bissaka. Who knows if Pez? Who knows? Anyway, let's dive into the gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Here we go. First match for Atalanta. Can we beat the Mighty Reds? So we're live at Old Trafford. And there it is. The Champions League background for you. It's a big, big matchup. And guess what? It's Manchester United back in the Champions League. Finished third in the season. Finally back to where they should be. How well will they do? That's going to be the big question. But Atalanta, don't write them off. They've got plenty of quality. So here we go. It's going to be, uh, I don't know how this one's going to go. I'm going to try and focus. And We are playing a, you know, a little bit more defensive than I would, of course, play with Bayern Munich. But it's just a 10-minute match. I can't play around with it too much. And the, the name of the game is to get the ball from point A to point B as quickly as we can as the, the ball's delivered in there interesting ball back to Paul Pogba so you know Bruno Fernandes starts on the bench Luke Shaw's playing with himself and he's given it away Muriel nice little turn chance to bring this forward Zapata 
Not the best ball towards uh, the flank. Caldera, lovely header. Lost out though, Marcus Rashford's playing through the middle. Martial's going to be on the left-hand side, which is interesting. Normally plays through the middle, not today. Lingard. But there's going to be a lot of rotation with Man United. They're going to be moving the, across the field as quickly as they possibly can. A good challenge on Marcus Rashford. Hatterball now brings it forward himself. And this is where he's going to need some support by his men in blue. And this is the chance for United. Ah, that poor pass, though. Needed more on it. Anthony Martial just looking to play it quickly as he could towards Rashford United are known for having the pace now up top well, let's see what we can do here just got to try and work it round I don't want to panic I mean that's often my problem is I play the wrong passes at times because I'm trying to do too much Gomez decides to cut inside on the old right foot kept tipped away by De Gea it wasn't the best save in the world I mean towards uh, the Iceman of Lindelof Paul Pogba finding a little bit of space but forcing the pass and Atalanta now looking for that lovely switching ball towards Gomez He's got very good feet type of player they need to get involved great challenge there by Martial just sticking out the long leg Lingard through balls possibly on here for Jesse Lingard but they track the run it's fallen across referee has given the foul in a very dangerous position. Now, there's no Fernandez on the field. Rashford or Pogba could be a culprit. Uh, maybe a little bit argy-bargy. But this is a real threat. And you've also got Mata. Forgot about him. If he can hit the frame, he's going to score. But he hits the wall instead. Out for the corner. Towards Luke Shaw. And that is going to be half-time. And... Well, it's been terrible. It really has been. We haven't done anything this half. I may change the camera, to be fair. I may have to put it to uh, a bit of uh, a bit of wide. I don't know. We'll play around with it. But, yeah, De Gea's giving uh, a bit of a spiel. All right, second half begins. I'm going to play with this camera angle now. I'm, uh, I'm going to see if this works out better. If we score a goal, let me know why, because I changed the camera angle. But uh, Lingard looking to get in early here. Hatterball, good challenge. The only problem is I don't have the radar on. I decided to play without it. But I still needed the player names above the head. Got some space here. A lovely ball. Go on, reverse ball, lovely. Across the face. Oh, he's hit the post. Back to Gomez. Chance on the edge of the box. Another chance. Mata gets his foot in the way. Why do we keep hitting the post, boys? And have a chance for Rashford. Jesse Lingard looking for the switch. Well, that's never going to happen. We'll take that night and day. And let's just keep the momentum going here. Keep it going, boys. Gomez. Lissich. Fed through the middle. Oh, just not enough. Not enough on it. Marcus Rashford. Lively start to this half. Martial. Looking a bit, bit naff today. Saying that, he's won it back. Looking for the back post. It's an inviting ball. It is Lingard. It's cleared away. Well, I wouldn't have been too happy if Jesse Lingard scored. The old Lindard Dino, whatever you want to call him. Zapata. Where are we going? We're going for a walk. That's not a good ball at all. What a plonker that was, but that's fine. The game has picked up on the tempo. We've changed the tactics as well. I mean, I've gone more kind of counter-attacking get the boys forward for some mistakes we've all seen Harry Maguire at the back as United are playing at the back right now De Gea long ball forward flicked on nice little touch, had a ball Darun let's swing this round the other way, lovely ball if we can hit that first time oh we had a chance Fossi Mens has done well to keep it on Tomine starts again with Harry. Lindelof. Let me know your thoughts as well on the camera. Would you prefer this camera or you would prefer the broadcast camera? At the end of the day, I'll make the decision, but I still like to know what you guys make of it. Luke Shaw feeds it inside. Lingard. 
Lingard actually doesn't have a bad game. But yeah, it's just one of these matches where midfield battles going on. All right, we've got to swing that round the other way now. Beautiful. My right, Gomez. Give and goes on. Give it back to him. Lovely ball. Fosu Mensa has got speed. Yes, but so's Gomez. He's done brilliantly well. Near post. Surely. Oh, come on, boys. Put it in the back of the net. Now Lingard's playing with himself there. Try to float it over the top. And in the end, Luke Shaw panicking as he gets it away. I mean, I would make a change, but who am I going to bring on? That's the big question. Oh, what a terrible ball that was. What a shocker. Now watch the run through the middle, please. Pogba. Lingard. Completely nipped away from him. There's space through the middle. It's a lovely ball, but it's not a lovely ball because Lindelof had other ideas. Luke Shaw now. Oh, maybe I should man-mark Harry Maguire and Lindelof. We've got 15 minutes. You know, it's one of these matches. You can get a goal, then probably hold on. Man United seem to be content with just keeping possession. Not really going anywhere with it. They're giving it away again. Zapata's looking tired. What a yell. That's a ball. Uh, Pulp is probably going to have the strength on him. Well done. Take your time. Feed it square. Oh, what is that for a ball? But saying that, Man United's giving it away. Ref, is that a free kick? No free kick given. Rashford, oh dear, oh dear. Suddenly this is a chance. Jesse Lingard. Oh no, no, no. Oh, typical Lingard. Beautifully done, Lindy. Oh my word. Well, he had the legs, didn't he? But you can't say too much because Neymar missed an absolute sitter yesterday. So Bruno Fernandes finally makes an appearance with only five minutes left. Oh, that was a chance there. Why'd you run off from the ball, boys? Typical scripting in pairs. Well, it's not really scripting. It's just bad coding, to be fair. Fosu Mensa. Is this going to finish nil-nil? I mean, we really haven't seen a ton of chances, but Man United seem content with just pinging it around at the back. Pogba does find Luke Shaw. I mean, my players are knackered. And they just don't have the legs to, to make the changes. This is why we need to make the most. Oh, it's another poor pass. We need to make the most of it at the beginning of the game. Fernandes. Oh, no, no, no. Lingard. Back to Bruno. We don't want to concede now. Oh, out for the corner. Please just blow. Just blow. We, we don't need the corner, ref. All right, ultra defensive. We've got to defend this. I mean, I'll take a point here away from home. Igalo. Come on as well. Don't let him cross it. Well played. Silly place to lose it, and that will probably be it. And the referee does blow for full time. So we've had two draws in the opening two matches. Both away from home, though, so not the worst result in the world. But, yeah, it's, get, it's definitely going to be tough with Atalanta. Not the easiest team to play with, but that's the point. We're playing with one strong team, one weaker side. Only four attempts to three in today's match. Man of the match was Scotty McTotty. So there we have it. Everyone else drew as well, so I guess that works out. Dortmund drew against Club Bruges by one goal each. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We will return for the big one. Bayern Munich against Barcelona. So that's the plan. We're going to bash out two matches an episode, get through this in you know a week or so, a couple of weeks, and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts below. What camera do you prefer? If you have any recommendations for formations, players to play of course let me know those as well and we shall return shortly but until next time take care